I, over and over again, you guys keep asking me, Agent, we need a jump shot. We know Agent is the jump shot king. Listen to me, guys. I'm struggling out here, man. Um, it's the second year in a row. Mike Wang is playing little disco tech with the sliders. I, I don't know what's getting patched. Listen, it'd be one thing if we knew what was getting hit so I can make adjustments, but I don't know. I just have to play through experience. I don't have a modded controller. I just have to play. And then I'm like, bro, something feels off about this jump shot. It wasn't like this before. Previous to patch four, base 49, point blank period, no questions asked, was the best base in the game. And after patch four drop, it, it's like everything changed, right? And you know, with every patch, with every hot fix, like I don't know what changed. Since then, the last week, I've been on the walk-on just testing all kinds of jump shots. I actually, and this is super important, somebody sent me a message on Twitter to a Reddit post. And the Reddit post was a screenshot of an email they got from 2K support. That makes sense, y'all see the timeline? Someone got an email from 2K support and we found out about it, is basically what I'm saying. And it's a shame because the Reddit post is deleted now, but what the, what the, the response was saying was, when the devs notice a release they think is overpowered, they adjust by making small tweaks to the release to help balance the playing field. Now, when you hear it like that, it sounds normal. What you talking about, agent? They're just helping make the game more balanced. Here's what goes into finding a good jump shot. Let me just show you the misery. Especially when you're a YouTuber, people spot your username, they send doubles and triples your way. And you're like, I just want to test a jump shot. I don't, I don't want to play y'all. I don't care about the victory. I'm playing walk on. Why y'all trying so hard is, you know, so anyway, uh, let's go to Jump Shot Creator. First, you gotta find a base. The most important thing when it comes to the jump shot. If you have a garbage base, GG, you will never make a jump shot. Or it'll be very difficult and you'll be playing percentages. So which one of you guys shoot percentages? I'm trying to shoot 100%. Another thing that was talked about in that email was 2K support was saying, no shooter can shoot 100%. Yeah, we can. And we were able to before you patched out the jump shots, and now we're unable to. You know what I mean? So I guess I just have to find what works, but let's say for example, and I, I had to be cautious. They could be sniping jump shots right now. You know, I, I never know. I'd be damned if I have to go through this process and find some more jump shots. So let's say it's a jump shot. It's not overpowered, but it's, it's decent. Let me find one of those. Let's go with Kyrie Irving. It's not a base a lot of people use, but I feel like it's a solid base. Not great, it's not terrible. So let's say that's their base. Now, you could have a phenomenal base, but it's like, are you trying to go on a commute to work on a two-way highway or on an eight-lane highway? Make life easy on yourself, and that's what the release one and the release two is. If you have bad release ones and release twos, the window might be big, but it's gonna be difficult for you to get there. And so now you gotta go through a whole process of finding different blends, playing with the percentages. So a, a blend that I really mess with, and it's the OG Prime release, the one I use, is if I find Paul George, boom. And I've been going through these so much, I just know where every single player is. Uh, and I think, I think this was 85, I'm gonna push it 80 for now. I think this is a good release one, release two combo. So let's just say that's the release I wanna test. You back out, you equip the animation, and now you have to make a decision. Are you trying to use this jump shot on the Pro-Am or the part? Now, you probably should've made that decision before you crafted your jump shot, but let's just say I wanna use this jump shot on the part. There's gonna be different latency on the park and the Pro-Am. So you can't take a Pro-Am jump shot, use it on the park, and vice versa. The releases are gonna be different because there's different button delay between the two game modes. You can't test it on the My Court because on your own My Court, there's barely any latency and it's gonna be a completely different release when you hop on the actual court, so you won't get a feel of what the actual jump shot is like. By the way, I might have created a really nice jump shot. I don't know, actually. And then from this point forward, you have to trek to the park. You have to play with other human beings. You can't test this on the mind court. You have to play for at least 30, 40 minutes before you make a decision about this one jump shot. And then you tweak it 5% this way, 10% that way. You change the release two to something else, the release one. Maybe you just scrap the whole base altogether. You do that process over and over and over again. On the walk-on, it gets even more frustrating because there's five people and they all want to shoot the ball. So it's a whole process to learn this stuff. So what, what I'm trying to say is it takes time and it takes a good shooter to be able to find a good jump shot. Does that make sense? And so when they nerf a release or change something about a release that someone took time to find, all that work they did is just thrown out the window and they have to do it all over again. What 2K doesn't understand is there's no person on human earth planet beings that wants to play a game a whole lot and not have certainty 
Do you know what I mean? If when I'm playing Rainbow Six and my aim is on point, I know I'm a hit, I know I'm a hit, I know I'm a hit. There's not a 60% chance I'm gonna hit my shot. It's not gonna be 50, it's not gonna be, I'm a hit. So when they remove that 100% certainty of a green light for the people that took time to find jump shots, it can become a problem. So people always ask me, agent, release a jump shot. Yo, if I release the jump shots I'm using, then it's just gonna get nerfed. And so for a week it might be cool, but then after that is everybody's back to searching all over again. I don't even know if it's smart to share the bases I enjoy anymore, because they might just mess up the bases. You know, they be sniping releases. And it's, it's different because like sometimes you just feel it's different, but it was weird to see it in an email where they just confirmed it. And I was like, it, it's, a, it's a whole new ballpark. Anyway, um, I think I found a release that works on the Pro-Am finally. To be honest, uh, for those wondering, actually, I'm gonna just show you what I use on the park. Uh, yo, I'm not gonna lie, the release I just created, y'all might wanna test this out. I can't even lie to you. It's looking good on the minecart, but it might be very different uh, when you play park or the pro -Am. It feels clean, like it might be easy to get these greens on the park. For those who don't know my A1 release, this is it. Um, is, is it? Is that it? That's not it. Nope. This is it. All right. I, I knew John Wall wasn't on the end of that. That looked weird. D'Angelo base, Harden release one, Lonzo release two. This is a slower release. The good thing about slow releases, it's almost impossible to miss the timing. Uh, the Q, the second it reaches the fingertips, almost in motion. The good thing about this release is you could be from Mars with incredible latency. In fact, you could be from Neptune and you can still hit with this jump shot. It's crazy, man. Uh, when I lag like crazy on the Pro-Am, I've had those weeks, I just put on this jump shot, I don't know what else to use. So if you're having trouble hitting, if you don't mind adding 50 milliseconds to your jump shot, then this is the one. Hey, PS4, can we stop downloading stuff while I'm on games? I was playing Rainbow last night. It was doing a whole lot of NBA Live 18 updates. I was like, excuse me, I will tell you when to update games, man. Don't do it while I'm playing. So I would use this. If you're struggling in the park and you want consistency and you're not already using this, boom, here you go. Now, when it comes to the Pro-Am, it's so difficult. To, I think Pro-Am is harder to shoot on. On the Pro-Am, I feel more consistent on my play shooter, which makes no sense, right? I'm a playmaker primary bro how on planet earth am i shooting more consistently i don't there's something about the shop man you know mike wang is he's doing his little disco tech you never know what changed he might have they've been doing all they can to nerf sharpshooters this year so i i understand uh, defensively I, I haven't met a person who can't blow by me defensively it's almost impossible to stay in front it's crazy bro especially on a five out and they're trying to isolate me on the pro amp hey, uh, what do i do man just steady blow by animation all right i guess I guess I'll share this one, man. If you're looking for a jump shot on the Pro-Am, use this one, all right? I don't use it anymore because for me, it's too fast. Some of y'all I know, be real, you guys really like those really fast releases. It's not me. I like the releases that's kind of down the middle, bro. Not too slow, not too fast. But not only is base eight the second fastest base in the game, but when you add Kevin Durant as the release one and release two, it speeds up the shot even more. <laughs> so you gotta be really attentive, man. If you can get this release down, it could be really deadly. Um, I heard some people say base eight is not the wave. Base eight became really popular this year. Uh, but I don't use this release anymore. I will die before I make public the release I'm using now because I, I'm tired of testing jump shots. I don't wanna do that anymore. And every time somebody finds out about a, a release or this or that, you know, they get to the disco tech. They're changing the sliders once again, man. It's crazy. Yo, wouldn't it be crazy if for whatever reason, there was a whole log that dropped, right? And it told you all the small, subtle changes to jump shots that were made this year. I think that'd be crazy, man. Anyway, I might even have to test this jump shot again. This jump shot does not fight through latency well, so if you're one that has high button delay on the walk-on or on the team pro-amp, then this might not be for you. But if you're in good conditions and you like quick jump shots, boom, you are welcome. It's good. Uh, I have yet to find my second A1 release. You guys see my first one earlier in this video? It's tough to find those, man, especially with everything getting patched left and right. I thought I had a second one, but I was, I was flabbergasted by patch four. All right, listen, there it is. A prime jump shot and a park jump shot. You guys keep asking me what I use. On the park, I just use my A1. I don't really care that much on the park because you know I don't really take it too serious on the park anymore. And on the prime, I've been struggling to find something, but that base 8 KD is nice. A little too fast for me, but uh, I think, honestly, I think if I just gave it a week, 
I could really get used to base eight. But like, I don't wanna do a week of shooting bad, you know? <laughs> but if you've already adjusted, man, there you go. Hey, I'm gonna leave it on that. Guys, I don't like making these jump shot videos because first of all, it's annoying to test for them, right? Second of all, the second I make them, Everything is on the radar again. You never know the disco tech can start any time now guys By the way y'all see my shoe collection on the left there. I got two new shoes man Y'all proud of me. I'm not wearing the defaults no more anyway if you guys enjoy make sure drop a like subscribe if you guys are new I'm gonna catch you guys later. I'm out peace